Hello, everybody. Let's get logged on here, huh? Let me do here. It is Friday, May 27th. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe it. Trying to figure out how to get comments up. There we go. There we go. I can see people logging on. That's just great. Hey, it's uh, the Memorial Day weekend here in the United States and on Monday. So I'm looking forward to a three-day weekend, um, though I, mi I miss you. But whatever, um, three-day weekend, what am I going to do? Normally, we'd probably go up to the cabin and I would sew, but I just think with our new little friend here, it's probably best that we just stick around. Um, now we're getting into the joy of kitchen raising, like her pooping in a corner in the family room. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, I thought she was potty trained. She was doing so well. So I got online and I'm going to try this trick. And it's going to be putting tin foil, aluminum foil in that area. And I think that will stop her. And I used to do that on my quilt frame, my full quilt frame. <coughs> Excuse me, because what would happen is... My cat would thought it was a personal bed for them, you know, like a hammock. And so you just take foil, aluminum foil, and put it on it, and they do not like that. So that's a tip. If you've got cats that want to sleep on your stuff, just put aluminum foil. Yay. So yesterday, Heidi Kitty is fine today, other than our little issues. <laughs> and they also don't like citrus, so I got a citrus spray, too, that I'm going to spray around. She's calling for me. So yesterday, oh, hey, Roberta. Yesterday, I had um, a wonderful day, a wonderful quilty day. And um, I went to first to C&T Publishing in Concord. Um, because my friend um, Lee Chapel Monroe was there. In fact, we've done a show with her. She's very funny, uh, 2910. And she's over at CNT. She's over at CNT for a week doing some of their um, online um, videos and stuff like that. I think it's called Creative Spark. And so we went out to lunch and had sushi tacos bougie, bougie tacos in Concord. And if you're in the area, um, you know, the willows at Concord, there's a whole, whole bougie thing going on past it. I, it was incredible. Even like with a mini Bellagio fountain, it was crazy. But anyways, there we are by saying goodbye. And we got ourselves little selfies and note, I'm wearing the same shirt today. Because when we woke up this morning, all of a sudden there were people in our yard because we're redoing our front yard. We redid it, oh gosh, maybe three, four years ago. And Heather designed it from Alden Lane. And she wants to use our front yard as kind of a showcase house on what she can do for um, designing your front yard. So she said, there were some mistakes that we made. She said, look, I will come and I'll redesign it, um, but you've got to pay for the plants and that's fine because it, it wasn't completely right. I got my fountain refixed and all that. So anyways, I just point of that story is I just grabbed the shirt and pants. Unfortunately, I didn't slop down it or anything. Um, then I went to my mini group at Diana McClellan's house and like Freddie's in it and Laura Nouns and um, Sujata. It's a lovely group of women. And Diana, who um, is really legally blind, is making this out of ties. And it was on her design wall. And I, it's silk, right? And I lost my mind with this thing. And, and if you look at it, and I wish I'd taken some arrows and made arrow marks and stuff, because there, some of those blocks are um, rectangles. You're like, what? But then that's what makes it so wonderful. I just adore this. So that's what she's working on. She is exceedingly prolific, um, despite the fact that she has um, handicaps she's working with one being partially blind. Okay. So, um, a bunch of you, not a bunch, a couple of you got a hold of me from the Genesis, uh, quilt guild, and I have more stories for you. 
Okay, first of all, the boute, boute, I understand what that is now. It's a, it's a French way to do trapunto, okay, but typically it doesn't have batting, typically. Now, this one here, this is um, by Kristen. She won the best of show. She sent me this picture because remember the one on Wednesday just didn't cut the mustard? Well, this is silk. Okay, and um, she did put in, she I think she said she took wool, she, yeah, she took wool batting and split it and then used polyester yarn for the cording on it. So she um, sent me this picture, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it was so many quilts, this quilt did not have an easy life. Uh, this was where I just go, you got to be kidding me. Um, she spilt on it, um, what did she say, red, red juice, <laughs> cranberry juice, and so she had to wash it, <laughs> and that's how then she dried it in the sun, and fortunately it came out, okay, but then she had to go back and re, and uh, remark it. I mean, those are just the thrills of quilting that just make your heart get so excited with joy. <laughs> God, not. So then here is another one that she did. And this is much smaller. I didn't make the note. Forgive me, Christine. Um, but I'm going to say like 30 by 30 or 40. A smaller piece, all right? This one has no batting in it. And she said when you hold it up to the light, you can see the cording in it. All right? So that is super cool. I think you got the corner on the market on this, okay, Christine? I, I think I think you've nailed it. And then Margaret sent me this picture, and it made me so super happy. Um, she lives in a small a, a small space, and she has to create smaller quilts for that space. That's where she displays them. And uh, if this isn't a beautiful shakeup of what we're doing, I don't know what, what is. I mean, this is just absolutely fabulous. And again, this is Margaret. I just, and look how just a little bit of color got thrown in, just a wisp of color. And honestly, Margaret, I don't know if you staged this photo or whatever, but the uh, orchid is, I mean, it's, it's just, it's perfection all the way around. So thank you for sending that. And then Linda, sent me a picture of a quilt. Um, Linda Bielmer, I don't usually say last times, why did I just do that? Um, and this is actually the pattern from AIE, I don't know how to say it's AIE, IA Rossman. And um, it, it, it is, she hand quilted it. And it is um, absolutely a beautiful pattern. It's called Affairs of the Heart, and I, and she said, hand, I think she said it was her first hand quilting attempt, and it almost put her under the bus. Well, I'm going to share something with you because one of my earliest earliest quilts was a black quilt, and I'll show you what I marked it with. But look at this, it's just beautiful. You know, sometimes there are these quilts that just give us fits and are naughty and all that, but in the end, you're the captain of the ship, and when it comes together. It's because you did it, all right? So when I did a black quilt way back in the day, it was called Controller's Dream, I pre-marked the whole thing with silver pencils, all right? I marked it because I drew the quilting design on um, see-through paper, probably vellum, pinned it to the quilt before it was basted, and then marked it with this, all right? When I quilted... Um, when I quilted, because I had the silver pencils, I could just follow the silver line. Now, there are many different uh, pencils out there, and when we do our quilting unit, we'll talk about that. Like, this one is called Quilter's Easy Pencil Silver. Um, this is a Roxanne one. I don't know if they still make it. Um, this is Barrel, Eagle. Um, if it says Verithin, V-E-R-T-H-I-N, that means that the lead in it is very 
Verithin. So it's not necessary that it says Verithin, but um, only once did I have an issue with this stuff uh, coming out. And I pre-mark with this because it stays in. Now I work on a frame, not a hoop. So, you know, you got to weigh all the different things, but um, it didn't come out just naturally. And I went, oh, brother, you know, but hey, after cranberry, what can you say, right? So I just washed it with um, Centerfall, came out. Yay. End of story. Okay. So every once in a while, never drink anything other than clear water near a special block or quilt top. Okay. That's um, a public service announcement from Nikki. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> right. It just, at least it wasn't red wine. Oh God. You got that right. So, okay. Because I have sleuths all over the place, um, periodically we stumble on things that are just flipping amazing. And it was Lilo who found um, this person. His name is Michael Thorpe. And in the ad, you see this basketball player. Well, uh, there was a video and I asked permission and, and they said yes. And I want you to see, and what's so interesting to me about this gentleman, I was going to say this kid, but he played basketball in college. So this young man, this gentleman, is that he seems to be zeroing in on faces. So I thought it was very appropriate that we um, watch this and applaud and and welcome this person into the world of quilting. Now, once again, I'm taking my life in my hands by trying to go to a screen. Say a prayer. Okay. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to hit larger. I hope there's not ads in it, but I, oh, I got to go. I know what I did wrong. John always tells me what I did. Okay. I got to get this out of here. Sorry, guys. Here we go. And there might be ads, and I'm sorry if there are. Okay. There's no sound. John, I need you. <laughs> John. Let me go back to here. I... There's no sound, so I'm bringing in my technology crew. Go here, um, go back okay, I'm back to here. Sound. Okay. Movie. Oh, it's muted? Oh, I want it unmuted. Not hey, let's try again. Let's just let's just try again. Okay? Is it on on the I, other page? I think so. So let's just try again. Sorry guys. So now I go up over here, which is where it is. Uh -huh. I scoot it back and I'm gonna hit play. And that you have the sound on there, and you have your sound on. Oh shoot. Okay, let me go make sure it didn't dummy out here on um where's the gears? Mm, sound. Huh. This is not good. Isn't this weird? You got the sound on. I got the sound on. Ugh! Your sound is on here. Mm hmm Well, you guys can certainly hear us right now. Should I should I go to YouTube and start over? Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on a second. This is not how I intended this to be. It's weird, isn't it? Um, Michael. Is it That's you. Oh, that's me. Which one of those was? It's not that. It's none of these. Oh, no. I'm wondering if, okay. 
We're going to try one more time, people. This is crazy. This is crazy. I so much want you to see this video. This makes me sad. Okay, what else, John, could it be? Okay, we try again. Thank you for your patience, guys. If you hit back, will you find it? There it is. I don't know what to do. Well, get out of picture, picture. okay, how to get out of that? Oh my gosh. Go backwards. Well, this is a bust. Well, just for fun, let's see if this one plays. Okay, that's when we, I love the ads. We'll get out of that. That's this one. Put some sitting si things. That's the in. same one. I know. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to cry. <sighs> Is there any chance it's because you're in Firefox? No. Let me try one more thing, you guys. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, should I go to Chrome and try it? Yeah. Do you I, know I, I'll have to find it. I'll just have to go to YouTube. Okay. Uh, Where is that? A quilter. Go the ad again. It's unbelievable. Hmm. Oops. I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, well, abort. Abort. <laughs> abort. <laughs> okay, your assignment. <laughs> Your assignment is to go to, we'll get it in the newsletter. I don't know what that's all about. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go when all else fails. assignment when we all hang up here is to go to YouTube to Michael Thorpe T-H-O-R-P-E and uh, watch his video it's about eight minutes it is ab oh John add add it in there to comments add it into comments he can do that <laughs> so Michael Thorpe I want to meet this person <laughs> He does faces. He embraces us old ladies. <laughs> he just everything is spot on. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> oh, you guys, thank you for letting me waste your morning. <laughs> so, okay, what's happening today? <laughs> I I am gonna take a well-deserved three-day weekend. <laughs> because it is Memorial Day. But I'm going to go out to the office in a few minutes. Uh, the, uh, Suzanne and Kristen said they've got some really cool new fabrics in, so I thought it might be fun to get a video on that. But, you know, who knows? But also, we're going to come up with a project that works with Oakshot. And um, I, re I remembered, okay, if you want to be gel gel, this is it right here, right here. Ah! 
I haven't yet broken into it. In fact, one of my friends at one point started ripping them apart. I'm like, get your paws off this thing. <laughs> We're going to put together some color bundles that will work beautifully with the project. So, oh, there we go. John just got it up. Okay, and Restream got it. <laughs> so, I, I will see you Wednesday. It happens. I started watching 1883, and that's a, that's a tip I can give you if you watch if you watch Yellowstone. I, uh, uh, inventing Anna. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I, I'm so sorry, you guys. If you're in the United States, have a great Memorial Day weekend. And if not, if you're not in the U.S., just say you're celebrating along with your quilting buddies and take it off and, and just go quilt your brains out. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>